What is up guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. If you have never been to my channel, thanks for popping in to see this video or to browse the channel. Whatever reason you are here, I greatly appreciate that. So today guys, I will get right into this. What I am showing you today is the mini tool partition wizard. Um, this, I have to let you know, this is a sponsored video. Um, and so I'm going to walk you through a little bit of a tutorial. Um, I'll show you one or two things on this and um, we'll get started. So the first thing first, obviously, um, you'll want to download Partition Wizard. My affiliate link is down in the description below. So go ahead and click on that. And once you get here to this page, you're just going to hover over this nice, pretty download Partition Wizard button up here. It will give you a few options. You can do the free edition. Um, we're going to be working with Pro Edition today because, like I said, this is a sponsored video and that is what they gave me. Um, they even have a server edition, which is actually pretty cool. So once you get that downloaded and installed, guys, um, go ahead and launch that. And when you do, this is what you will be met with right here. Now, as you can see, it's, it's actually a really nicely laid out GUI, GUI, which is graphical user interface for those of you that don't know that. Um, it's nicely laid out here. Everything is in an order and a space to where you can understand it. Um, so yeah, I really like that about this software. So like I said, I'm going to show you, you know, maybe one or two things about the software. I can't show you everything because we would literally be into a video probably a couple hours and it's kind of fun to learn things on your own too. So anyway, guys, one of the first things that I want to show you is, okay, take a look down here. This is a hard drive. Actually, this is just a simple SanDisk thumb drive that I popped in my system and I just did that just to show you how this works. So we're gonna be working with partitions right now and I'm gonna show you guys this. So as you can see, this is unallocated. And if I go into my file explorer here, you know, this is my main drive and these are two of my backup drives. I know that that is not this drive because this is just gonna be a 32 gig, but it's not showing up here. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but I have literally seen people order like a new hard drive, like a, like a secondary hard drive for their computer pop it in there and it doesn't show up here. So they're like, well, the hard drive must be bad. I'm sending it back. And they literally send it back uh, when there's really nothing wrong with the drive. They just have not initialized the drive. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Once you open up this mini tool partition wizard, and if you have a new drive installed, you will see it, it'll look very similar to this except it'll probably and hopefully be bigger uh bigger size of a hard drive there so all you do guys is right click on this and you're going to create and all you're doing here is just creating a partition initializing this drive so you can give it a label if you'd like um i just i usually leave that blank um you can create it as a primary or a logical i'm just going to leave it at primary File system NTFS is what it defaults to, but you can choose any of these other file system types. I'm just gonna leave it at NTFS because it is a flash drive and that's how most of them work. Um, you can give it a drive letter. If you don't like what this is assigned to F, you can give it that um, or any of these other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at F. I'm fine with that one. Cluster size, I'm just gonna leave it at default. Um, but yeah, you can take a look here. Here's what it's going to do. Size and location. Now, once that's done, you pick everything you want. You just hit okay here. Now, as you can see, this no longer says unallocated, but over here, this is kind of how the software works. You have an operation pending. And so don't go into your file explorer and think that you're going to see it and think this didn't work. So you have to still apply this pending operation. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hit apply, hit yes. Now it should not take long because it's, like I said, it's not a big drive at all. It, um, it's just a 32 gig flash drive. So it should not take long to do this. If it were a much bigger drive, you might be sitting here a little while longer, um, which that would be okay. So 
and it's doing its thing. All right, and those changes were made successfully. So you just hit OK. So now you can pop into your file explorer and you see your brand new drive here. And if you open it up, you can see it is ready for use. You have some data written to it. So think of this, think of, you know, after you get this installed, you go, oh, you know what? I wanted to, I wanted to split this. You can actually split a drive guys into two different drives. You're like, I want to split this because I wanted to put documents on one. I want to put pictures on the other. We can do that. So make a note. It's the F drive, the 32 gig flash drive. All you do is come back in here and you're going to go here to split this. And it's actually, it's, it's so easy to do because they have this really nice little toolbar here. And all you do is grab this and say, okay, say for instance, I want the first, and it's going to give drive letters here, F and G. Um, just think, okay, I want the first to be 10 gigabytes. So all you have to do is bring that down to 10 gigabytes. And we're just going to get close there. We're not going to make it perfect or I'll be here going crazy. Um, so, okay. So you want the F drive to be a 10 gigabyte because you're just going to throw some documents on there. You want this one to be a little bit bigger because you're going to throw some images on there. Okay. So, and yeah, I guess I could have came down here too. All right, there we go. So you, we're, we're 10 gig on that even now. And so the rest is dedicated to the G drive. So once you have your perimeters and your partition sizes set, you simply hit OK. Now, as you see, it has done its thing down here. You have an F drive and a G drive. Now, remember, guys, you're not going to pop right into your file explorer here and see the G drive. You have to apply the pending operation. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, we are sure. And this shouldn't take long, probably about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit quicker or maybe a little bit longer. And we will let that finish there. Okay, and that took probably about 30 seconds. I went ahead and, you know, pushed through it in editing there. So, okay, so we did that. So now if you take a look in your file explorer, boom, there you have it. You have the 10 gig here and you've got the 18 gig here and they are both active and they are ready to have data transferred to them. So you can actually split up a drive with this software. It's, a, it's really super cool. Now, say for instance that um, you decide, well, I really don't want the separated anymore. You got your data off of it. You want it to be just one drive again. So all you gotta do is call it right click and now we're gonna merge these. And so we're gonna merge the F and the G together. So we're just going to hit next. And again, make sure that that is what you are on guys. Don't go clicking on these other ones or you're going to cause some issues for yourself. So we're going to make sure that we're on disc four, which is right here. Just make sure and um, make sure that uh, if it gives a name, that is what you are shooting for. So again, click on that. We're going to hit next. And so it's going to go the F with the G. And we're going to specify a folder name to keep content of selected uh, partition. And you're just going to finish that off. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to select a partition. And we're just going to finish that. And as you guys see, it puts it right back over here. But again, reminder, I'm sorry, I'm a pain with this reminder, but I've seen people forget this and they're wondering why it ain't working. Um, because if you go in here, you're still seeing both. And so we're going to merge. We're going to hit apply. Yes. And it looks like this might take a little bit uh, less time than the actual splitting of the drive. So we'll see here. Okay, and that is applied. Now, as you guys see here, it is full again and go back into your file explorer and you are back to just that. 
So that is just one thing, guys, that I thought was really cool about this software. There's a lot more that you can do with this software. Um, take, for instance, they also have a data recovery. Um, so if you accidentally delete something on one of your drives, um, you just go to your data recovery, you pick which drive, tell it to scan it, and if it can, it will pull it right back up. Uh, so that's a pretty cool option there. Um, the other thing that I liked about this is this really stuck out to me. Uh, you can mi migrate your operating system to an SSD or an HD. Um, so this will walk you through, say for instance, your main, your primary drive is a mechanical drive and you want to go to a solid state drive, which is a hundred times faster or more. Um, this will help you do that without losing data. Um, so it'll just ask you what you want to do. To do that, you uh, just want to choose B here and you just follow through those steps. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you can copy a partition, which is pretty neat. Um, there's your, and you can actually recover a partition if you accidentally delete one. And you know, just some hotkeys here to resize permission, partitions, merge them and split them, uh, which we showed you how to do, um, deleting and formatting and stuff like that. So overall guys, really cool tool. Um, it is decently priced. Um, you can do the free version, but you know, you don't get as much with the free version as you do uh, with the pro version or anything like that. Um, but just mess with it, guys. See what you think. Again, the affiliate link is in the description below if you want to try it out. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer those. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.